guys please confirm to me all of you are getting my voice on the screen those are attending in online guys please confirm to me all of you are getting my voice on the screen those are attending in online am i audible guys <coughs> please confirm to me all of you are getting my voice on the screen those are attending in online guys please confirm to me all of you are getting my voice on the screen those are attending in online everybody please respond to me guys all of you are getting my voice on the screen right sir and uh, check it what we completed in the last session what topic here we understood there in the last classes so jdbc application development here we are understanding in a jdbc steps here we are starting inside the jdbc steps if you observe this clearly right sir and uh, when compared with the last class why people are less today are yaar yesterday that movie was right already completed why sir is it because of that movie only no what is it aha uh -huh, festival huh? i think it's the ladies festival i think sir no okay i don't know really i don't know who festival it is no is a regular festival ha huh? ekadashi mukkot ekadashi okay fine is a girls festival or everybody's festival all family festival family family festival right they are attending class now all right sir it's okay <clears throat> steps to prepare first jdbc application all right here what are the various steps here we are having there overall download and install database software download and install java software eclipse ide intellij idea create a java project in ide add a driver jar file to the project library create main class main method and provide jdbc application logic in the jdbc application logic what we have there load and register driver establish connection between java application and the database create either statement or prepared statement or callable statement write job and execute sql queries after this close the resources right cuttons no, close cuttons adjust it all right sir. all right sir this is clearly the data that means what we are having there i think so some of you are requested to us already so try to show that installation process of this databases clearly right sir just of course majority of you are already aware about it but as part of the responsibility then we need to install that software also let me show that installation process okay one time only one time work only not for every project don't install oracle database for every project one time work only one time installation is sufficient we can prepare any number of projects all right already i have oracle database with me and mysql database both are available with me let me uninstall first both the databases all right sir now if you want to uninstall any software what we have to do hmm? what we have to do can i go to the location where i installed oracle i think so oracle 21 xe is available with me can i delete this folder this is the, this is this step is a totally wrong step don't to delete the folders directly if you delete that folders no only visible files and folders might be deleted when we install oracle database internally some files and folders are existed that internal files and folders are not deleted then what they are able to do no they will not allow us to reinstall the same software at the same time that oracle software half of the software is deleted so 
only one option on that particular moment we have to format the system otherwise we have to find the location where internal files and folders are available that we have to delete but it is difficult don't to delete the softwares in this way especially oracle database right now <clears throat> let me go for it now i need to go for like a control panel here we have to use to uninstall the softwares there we have to use what there control panel inside the control panel programs uninstall a program in my database in my system already i have mysql is available at the same time oracle 21c express edition is available yes sir what is available here no oracle 21c express edition all right now uninstall system has chosen to remove the oracle xe database from our system after removal oracle xe database including its database files and the listener will no longer be available for use yes exactly the same thing i'm expecting right <clears throat> right sir then one more thing i'm telling to you how many of you are having already databases in our systems please raise your hands how many of you are having that right then all of you i'm giving suggestion to you don't uninstall your software you are just i am trying to show the software installation that's why i am uninstalling that don't do any practicals over this existed database try to use the as it is try to use the same software as it is understand it clearly no, i think so some files are already in use right sir are you aware about it why it is not uninstalled why it is giving that information to me already oracle database files i am using in some other project at my evening spring framework i have used that spring framework or maybe some other advanced java that's why it is not allowing me to uninstall <clears throat> now it is okay it is taking some time and uh, one more point please recognize this if we take the oracle database those who are using mac mac operating system clear cut information mac is not supporting oracle oracle is not supported by mac so there there is a lengthy process there is a process to install mac no that will be like what there here we have to install virtual box oracle virtual box we have to install there we have to get the oracle but it is a lengthy process instead of that what i am telling to you then better to avoid the utilization of the oracle for jdbc program in a mac operating system there we can use watch there we can use mysql mysql is supported still if any of you require that how to install mysql in the mac operating system i will show that already i had some practice over this i'll show this don't worry for it we will see some examples even on mac operating system also as per our requirement but if you are using all of you are using that okay <clears throat> right sir let it complete once once it is completed then we will start in installation process but meanwhile i want to download the software from internet now it is going to be uninstall no i want to download the software from internet also carefully now here just google it sir now even i don't know <clears throat> i don't know then from where we have to download this just google it what we have to google there oracle 21c xe download <coughs> i think so i think so we are using oracle 21c express edition is the latest version here in express editions no or else simply we can say like what there oracle download just we can say like what there oracle download oracle download like like this here we can search for it directly we have to go for what there oracle.com is a website name www.oracle.com right so just open it in a new tab <clears throat> open it in new tab there we are able to get some content here oracle database software downloads okay fine oracle database software downloads some oracle website it is showing there let me check it now pre-installation guide 
20 Oracle database 23 C is available, but express edition is what there. These are what there download Oracle database XE for Windows. All right, so now this is for Linux. So I think so. Ideal for Mac OS. What is this? No, run the Oracle database 23 C free container image with the Docker, right? For fetch with the Docker image, it is available here. Mac OS, Linux, and all these things. No, Docker image is here. It's okay. Containerization is a topic there. I think if you are attended DevOps, you might be aware about the Docker. Yes, sir. Are you aware about it? No, a Docker. All we are going to pack at a single image. No, that image we are going to install, right? So it's okay. There's a different story. If you want to use it, that we can use there. But anyway, my requirement is what there? Download, download Oracle database XE for Windows. Listen carefully. Two types of flavors are available in Oracle database. What are the two flavors there in Oracle databases? No. One is Enterprise Edition and other one is what there? Express Edition. What are the two things? No, one is what there? Enterprise Edition. Other one is what there? Express Edition. Enterprise Edition is a relatively heavyweight. Enterprise Edition is what there? Relatively heavyweight. Moreover, uh, full stack features will come. All features of the Oracle will come. More and more features will come. Answer my point now. Relatively, Express Edition is a lightweight. Express Edition is what there? Lightweight. But uh, minimum features will come. Not all the features. No. But for our JDBC applications, minimal features of the Oracle are sufficient. No need to go for the too much internal features of this Oracle. If you are the Oracle admin, if you are the database admin, they definitely may go with what there? Enterprise Edition. But being the Java developer, if you want to use Oracle database as a backend for you, normal Express Edition is sufficient. Moreover, it is a lightweight. Your system performance will be increased when compared with the Enterprise Edition. What are these Enterprise Editions actually? Oracle 10G, 11G, 12C, uh, 18C, 21C, 23C. Now at present, all these are like what there? Enterprise Editions. Oracle. 10 XE, 11 XE, 18 XE, 21 XE, they are the versions only. 10 XE, 11 XE, next one is 18 XE. Between that, no express editions are available. After this 18 XE, the next one is what there? 21 XE. 21 C express edition. They are the versions which are available inside the Oracle. Now I want to download 21 C express edition. I want to download it. Observe carefully. Now here I want to click on it. Download the Oracle database XE for Windows. Just click on this one. Whenever we are clicking on this one here, now directly it is starting the downloading. Downloading is started here. Got it or not? Okay. Now here, what I am telling to you, just I want to give that locations also in the document. <clears throat> Download and install. Now here directly I want to provide what there. All right, sir. Installation process of Oracle database. All right, sir. Now installation process here. I'm showing to you. Try to understand it. Now step number one. Download Oracle software from the following link. All right, sir. Now if it if you keep that link there, there we are able to get it clearly. Now we can see this. All right, sir. Oracle XE. I don't know what is that. Twenty one dot three. I think so. Version name. Oracle XE 21.3. Observe carefully how much size it is available here. No 1.8 GB, but almost all 0.6 it is downloaded here. But we have to wait a few more minutes of time. Then once it is completed here, then we are able to get it. Zip file we are able to get. Yes, sir, getting my point or not? What file here we are able to get? No zip file. And one more thing, we are downloading this from what? From the Oracle website. Am I right or not? 21 XE is okay. In general, it has to come from the RQ downloads. Maybe in my system directly it is downloading. In your system, it may ask a Oracle account login authentication. I think already you created in Core Java. Uh, username and password we created for Oracle, right? Use that Oracle authentication. Then after that only we can download it. It may be downloaded. No need to worry for it. Right, sir. Now it is going to be downloaded here. One GB is already downloaded. Just we have to wait one more minute of time. Once it is coming. Then we will go for the process. I'm going to give the process here. I think I already had this software, but let me download it once again. So I'm doubtful about it. 21.3 version or maybe 20. 
213 in the sense what is that let me check once now once if it is completed right sir meanwhile what is the status of my uninstallation process here no right sir it was uninstalled here there we can see this <clears throat> oracle virtual machine is available but previously oracle 21 xe is available there that we already completed okay right sir it's okay fine right sir almost all completing so again i am requesting to you if you have already oracle any version enterprise version or express version or maybe oracle 12 c or maybe 18 c or maybe 19 c or express or maybe 21 c whatever it may be but don't disturb your existing oracle one time if you disturb it no it may or may not come again so don't to touch that oracle installation again if you have already oracle database if you are not having oracle database no just try to follow this process what are the process here i am telling you yes, sir got it or not All right sir All right sir now it is almost all completed just go to the folder all right so now here we are getting like what is it? this one now let me copy this <clears throat> i want to copy this in general i used to keep all my databases at the e drive e drive softwares inside these softwares databases it is available oracle inside this oracle yeah with respect to your batch also i want to create a separate one all right sir now here i want to provide something like what there oracle 21 xe i thought of it, it is a 21 21 or 23 huh 21.3 i think so maybe let me check it underscore 1130 it's okay in your batch timing <clears throat> obviously i am only right sir then i provided this one 21.3 to 13 i think so sub version may be 21.3 i think so right right sir now before that let me check once again here my oracle is already available or not is it removed or not sql plus if you type it no now it is not coming means that it was deleted it was uninstalled totally it was uninstalled moreover i'll come back to this location here c drive inside this three drive oracle 21 xe it is available d installed the total thing is uninstalled so i want to remove this folder here oracle 21 xe folder i removed now what i am telling to you in the process of installation here try to create one folder for the sake of your oracle version now i want to provide it is like what there oracle 21 xe a separate folder here i created inside this folder i want to keep my oracle database got it or not okay right uh, now understand it clearly what i am telling to you i'll go to what there oracle okay fine now here i want to go there see it in the e drive inside the e drive softwares inside the softwares databases inside the databases oracle then where i kept this one right what's the location here 1130a right this is available oracle xc 21.3 windows 64 it's okay it's available cut it or not uh, just one minute one minute of time uh, let me let me clear about all the steps here in the future when we unfortunately feel if we lose your oracle database in our system just follow this manual so that you can reinstall it again no, if it is a case here all right so now let me prepare the document here all right then after that second one is what there all right so after downloading after downloading oracle software we will find a zip file right sir now the second one is what there we will find the zip file second one is what there unzip unzip the file unzip this particular file if you unzip this particular file what we are able to get here understand it now so many things here we are able to get inside this just unzip it extract here click on this extract here <clears throat> right so many so many files and folders here we are able to get let it complete totally there we are able to have some setup of files <coughs> installation file we are able to get all right sir now here <clears throat> See this one Oracle database 21C Express Edition Windows Installer file. Here we are getting setup file is coming there. 
setup file is not mandatory even through the setup file also we can do that but not mandatory we have to click on what there this particular one all right sir now i will show this particular point here now let me take this one also all right sir now here what i will provide there oracle uh, database oracle database anyway not required to provide this it's okay now in the document here what i'm telling here so unzip and find set up a file all right sir now here what we are able to say no double click on this setup a file double click on this setup file now let us do this one same thing no double click on this setup file i think all of you are aware about right now just i think it is not visible for you in the document i am giving clearly just to double click on this setup file here if you double click on this setup file no automatically installation process will start now see this at least you are able to see this information here welcome to the installation wizard oracle database 21 c express edition 21 c oracle database express edition clear All right sir just we are going to get it from this point downwards max cases we are going to click on next buttons except the location where we want to install except that location here we can click on what there next button here now observe carefully now here double click on it next one is what there click on the next button click on the next button now let me check it if we click on the next button it is asking about like what there uh, terms and conditions agreement asking about this particular agreement now good now select uh, select uh, the checkbox select the radio button select the radio button to accept the accept the terms and conditions terms and conditions it's a formality only right sir i accept it i accept the terms in the license agreement then click on what there next button let me provide this total process here maybe it may be useful for you in the future if i click on next button now this is the location here by default it is going to take some location guys then what location it is taking there by default no administrator location it has taken there c app administrator product 21 c in this location it is going to be installed by default what are the locations are not tell me c app administrator administrator in the sense user my user actually inside my system user is what the administrator like that i created username okay administrator product 21c this is a location it has taken but my intention is what there not under app and administrator directly i want to install it under what there c drive in c drive oracle 21 xc location i prepared now there i want to install it right so now let me check this one change oracle installation location to c colon slash oracle 21 xe location to oracle c colon slash oracle 21 xe xe location <clears throat> by clicking on the change button by clicking on the change button right sir now let me do this click on the change button if we click on the change button there we have to remove like what there we have to select the location what location here it has provided there no in a c drive inside the c drive all right what exactly the location is available here we can identify this no oracle 21 xc it's available click on ok button now location will be finalized what is the location it was finalized here c oracle 21 xc it is finalized okay right sir then what next one here click on next button click on the next button again and again i'm telling to you already if you have oracle database don't touch that oracle existed database try to use the same thing i will show how to execute our program even with the enterprise edition whatever the oracle version you are having no doubt we can execute our program there with that don't uninstall it and uninstall your existed one okay right sir the next one is what there click on next button if you click on next button 
now it is asking about enter the database password by default username is what their system i don't want to change it that as is system one i'm going to use in my applications as simple as so i want to go for what there enter the database password and confirm database password if we click on next button then what next one again now enter the database password and confirm password for the user system all right sir password for the user system there the thing is what there password confirm password but the first one is what there password there i want to provide my password is what there durga system is what there <clears throat> system is what there username password is what there durga confirm password again i'm providing what there durga remember remember this guy in my system i'm going to do this username is what their system enter database password durga i provided now the confirm password again here i'm providing what their durga again here i'm providing what their durga both are same then after that after providing this what next one here click on the next button click on the next button right sir <coughs> click on the next button all right sir then finally it has given the final locations there destination folder oracle home what is that oracle home sir now tell me oracle home is what there c oracle 21xe db home okay next one is what there c oracle 21xe oracle home is available db home xe please remember this okay all right sir then after that click on what there click on click on the install button <clears throat> click on the install button all right sir if you click on install button then it will start installation clear the process here what i am telling to you yeah this may take several minutes of time you don't have any alternative you have to wait for it <clears throat> So username is what their system and password is what their Durga in my system. Why? Because we need to give this username and password in our JDBC. Whatever the username and password we created here. Of course, in the future, we may create new user in the Oracle database. There we are going to provide username and password there separately. That one also we can use. Or else default user is what their system. Password I created for it. That is what their Durga. Then we, this one also we can use in our system scan. All right, sir. <coughs> So meanwhile, I want to download MySQL database from the internet here. Already we download and we are started installation of what there Oracle database can right? It may take some time anyway. Installation of this uh, Oracle database, it may it may take some time now. But I want to go for what there <clears throat> downloading of MySQL database. That one also I'm going to use throughout JDBC. I'm going to use these two databases frequently. Right, so half of the programs with Oracle and half of the programs with what there MySQL. Why? Because conclusions are different. Some conclusions may be varied from one database to another database. You know, that we are going to see both the databases for Java developers, for Java application development. Both the databases are utilized at present in our site. Oracle is a standard one, but MySQL is also be easy to use. So both the databases are going on for our applications. So we need to have awareness on both the databases. All right, sir. Now my intention is what there after installation of the Oracle, I have to give some queries information. I don't know how much you are aware about this Oracle database. Installations are okay. All of you are having your Oracle databases in our system. Up to that, very happy. I feel very happy. But the point is what? How many of you are able to write SQL queries, basic SQL queries, minimal SQL queries? I don't know. Then we need to have awareness on these SQL queries. Of course, if you are joined with Oracle course here, well and good. Already might be um, our Oracle trainer has given information to you regarding that how to write that SQL queries. But if you are not joined with Oracle course here, then for them I have to take care. Even this, everything I'm discussing with you, those who are not attending Oracle classes, no. 
I think almost all of you attended Oracle classes. Am I right? No response. Okay. In, in Durga Soft and outside of Durga Soft, that doesn't matter. Finally, you are having Oracle awareness or not. That's the question now. Right? <clears throat> yes? Right, sir. Then we have to wait for it. Let me complete it. Later, I'll download that MySQL database also. We'll get it very quickly. <clears throat> So if we complete this total installation process no directly we have to click on like what the next button then finish button only max no other uh, might be configurations max but mysql database if you want to install there some configurations we require internet connection is mandatory at the same time dot net framework is mandatory visual studio is a mandatory in your system then only you are able to install uh, MySQL database. These are mandatory, right? That fortunately, by default, at our operating system in Windows operating system, .NET Framework is available. Visual Studio is also be existed inside our operating system, so not required to think much about it. But internet connection is mandatory. On flow, it able to it is able to download some files from internet. It is able to install that files internally, so that that we have to maintain. Internet connection is mandatory. But for Oracle database installation process, no internet connection is not mandatory. I think some intimation here we are getting there. Configuring Oracle XE listener. Right, sir. Now it is asking that it is showing that acknowledgement. Configuring Oracle XE database. Yes, okay. <clears throat> right, sir. If it is going on there, it will be completed. After that, it will speed up the installation process. <coughs> If any error is identified there, it is going to ask like what are the retry and all these things. Just wait for it. Oracle XE listener configured successfully. Configuring Oracle XE database. Most of the people are getting problem with Oracle XE listener. Oracle XE listener, TSN listener. The problem will come there while executing first application. There also I will show some solutions to you how to come out from that. But maximum if you are getting this one. Oracle XE listener configured successfully, then it will be the installation process in an effective way. Everything is going on good in the Oracle database installation. In the case, if you are getting the information like what there, listener failed, listener installed installation failure, definitely may get some problems in our database system. But in my system, I got that information there. Listener installed successfully. So no problems are going on with my database. Comfortably, we can use the database for our JDBC applications. It's going on now. Seven percentage is completed. Okay? Just we have to wait for it. Once it is completed, then it will speed up the total the total remaining part of the installation. And one more thing I'm telling there. In my system, nearly it was 20 GB of memory I maintained. 20 GB of memory I maintained, so it was somewhat better in my system. But in our systems, it may take a lot of time. Uh, but in general what they have it for every user now whenever they have seen this much of time one minute or two minutes of time are are something is going on yeah, then immediately they are going to click on what button there cross button then uh, otherwise they are going to click on what there cancel button that's it there itself your installation process will be ended half of the software is installed remaining half of the software is not installed again maybe at evening time we want to install again no even if you start installation it will show the clear-cut message oracle is already existing in our system if it is already available, if you want to open it, no, no configurations are available for Oracle. Again, it is showing this kind of problem there. Only one option, you have to format your system. No second thought. So don't click on cancel buttons or like what their cross buttons in the middle of the software in installations. Everybody understand it clearly. No? So if it if anything is wrong inside this installation process, no, it will show clear, it will give a pop-up menu for us. Then it able to give us some alert box there. Where some mistake is going on you want to abort this uh, installation process or not it is asking that officially there we can click on it i get my point or not but unnecessarily don't click on the cancel buttons 
and uh, cross buttons there in the installation process but this is a habit for us in general most of the people are doing that one then even after clicking on that cancel buttons or cross buttons even though if you bring your laptops to me i'm unable to do anything just simple i will format your system if you have movies that movies are also be deleted uh, don't ask me what type of movies no are yaar salar movie right animal movie <laughs> Yeah, I watched that Salar movie actually. Yeah, it's okay. No, boring, huh? Movie boring, right? Hey, yeah. What is there in that movie? A hero is coming and hero is murdered. Almost all 100 to 200 members. No, finish. The entire story is going on like that only. But actually, at the end there is a twist. I'm waiting for the conclusion, climax. No. Ah, uh, in the cool manner they are giving a display. Wait for second, second uh, one. Uh, the entire environment they created there the next thing is war only different different military people are coming at a particular place now i'm thinking about it okay maybe then very good war scene will come there but they are disappointed uh, uh, i was totally disappointed by seeing that one then my brother said to me are your movie was completed just chill like no mind is not accepting for it anyway waiting for second in the sense not at all when it will come maybe my son will teach java by the time right i think now it's going on process is going on okay just wait for it 30% completed 33% is waiting for it <clears throat> yeah one time effort only even though it is taking some time just wait for it <clears throat> and uh, one more thing i'm telling to you uh, in your laptops minimum maintain 8 gb ram don't go with only 4 gb ram like this then it is an uh, uh, might be outdated part in the world and is maybe people are using 4 gb rams in the laptops now but nowadays as for the application development as for the server maintenance maybe database maintenance maybe minimum 8 gb ram minimum of the minimum understand it here but if we go with the 16 gb ram well and good more than 8 gb ram it's okay suggestible but 8 gb ram is minimum but less than 8 gb ram if you are having in our system there definitely your system may come for what there maybe it will be slow down right comfortably we are unable to execute the applications it may take a lot of time to complete your applications execute moreover we are going to deal with the we are going to execute programs with the ides again ides will take what there uh, some lot of memory at one side in the server's applications at one side web logic server at other side oracle database at other side like what their intellij idea all three heavyweight components have to be run if you want to make if you want to run these three things at a time no definitely minimum 8 gb ram is required here in the future so because of the reason in our system better to maintain 8 gb ram <coughs> okay there yeah, why it is taking this much of time <clears throat> how many of you are having mysql database in our systems mysql database only few members not having how many of you are not having mysql database okay then first i have to install mysql unfortunately started this oracle okay let us we are unable to do anything now <laughs> we had to wait until the completion of this total software installation <clears throat> see nowadays one minute nowadays nobody is using databases in our local machines 
nobody is installing software in our local machines everybody they are using cloud databases maybe servers maybe everybody they are using what they are depending on what their cloud then creating free account in aws and free tires are available in the aws then get that free tires free tire softwares then use them for our applications but remember it when your work is completed in aws you have to stop all the free softwares otherwise the calculations are going on internally uh, money cost will be provided already you might be given your credit code details uh, they will send continuously notices to you to pay the payments understand it now but remember it you have to stop your instances better to destroy that instances inside your aws otherwise it may be the problem why because up to some time duration they are able to give free sources no once the time duration is completed every minute is a chargeable how much time you are spending with your aws with that instances no okay then uh, i i remembered it i think so maybe few years back might be one of my student has opened that uh, aws and uh, instances there he created instances he started instances then simply he shut down his system then without stopping that instances without destroying that instance just he simply he, he, he shut down the system but in the cloud there calculations are going on and then almost all he got the he got the bill like nearly 60000 rupees yeah he got notice of it in the form of dollars they send it then on overall on a, a rougher, roughly 60000 rupees he has to pay but how many days he has not opened that account i don't know 60000 rupees bill was generated for him on the day he came to me sir what i have to do there then i, I said to him then you can avoid it it's okay but the point is what if you avoid it it will be a problem there in the future also then better to have some bargain with the aws people try to chat with them definitely they may give some kind of concession over the payment finally he said to them i was a student unfortunately i didn't stop to my resources there can you please check it like this after having almost all one week of discussion they reduced the payment almost on nearly 20000 the 40000 they reduced 22 20 odd something they have calculated they given reduction on that amount almost on one week of discussion after one week of discussion so then what is the point i am telling there instead of doing all these installations here we can open aws where we can take the database instances we can connect with them we can work with them it is also be possible almost on four to five years back i made one video in youtube also for that if you have any doubt just we can check one time get about it and how to connect with the cloud databases there but my program is available in the local system eclipse ride is available in the same local system but database is available where in the cloud i am connecting from my local system to cloud for the sake of this database operations there that i have done some videos the jdbc video i have done it the next one is what there servers application also i have done there there we can check it now that servers servers are also have taken at cloud but local mission to cloud i connected i am going to deploy the project from local mission to the cloud there i uh, checked that applications there no just sample applications only not completely enterprise application even i have not used any devops tools there the simple connection see <clears throat> in the jdbc url local host i used to specify local host local host in the sense in the current location current system in place of that local host we have to use the cloud url if we use the cloud url there automatically it's going to be connected that's a point here we are able to catch okay are yaar then how much time it is taking going on slow but in general it may not take this much of time in my system but anyway it's okay going on it's showing some personalization no? so once we are installation of one software it will not install it will not allow us to install or uninstall other softwares right sir meanwhile i want to check with the uh, mysql database also what version is the latest version here 
mysql downloads mysql download <coughs> right sir mysql.com is available listen carefully we can download the mysql database from two websites either we can go with oracle oracle website or we can go with what there mysql.com then two things are available from both of them we can download it what is the latest version of this mysql actually 8.0.35 no maybe i think so 8 version 8 is a major version minor versions are available let us check this clearly mysql downloads open a new tab right sir open a new tab now here we are getting like what there mysql.com downloads right sir now observe carefully now here we are getting something like what there at the bottom we can identify mysql community gpl downloads mysql community gpl downloads click on this mysql community gpl downloads no there we have to go for what there mysql installer for windows this is one thing here we can get it and mysql community server okay, of course either of these things here we can collect maybe individual if you want to get some connector j and all these things that one also here we can download it's okay fine no problem i want to go with what there mysql community server i want to go with that or else simply we can go with what there mysql installer for windows this one also we can click there all right sir if i click on this one there it is asking to us what is the latest version of this uh, particular mysql there mysql is coming in two flavors one is a 8.x versions another one is a 5.7 version 5.x versions understand it now now the latest one is what there here as for the content no 8.0.35 that is the latest version here now here we can identify this windows x86 32 bit installer it's okay no problem windows x86 32 bit installer either of this here we can download either of this here we can download this is community and this is a web now better to go with what their community click on like what their download this download here we have to click there i think so some changes are happened uh, now see this one oracle database here i'm telling to you completed sir in oracle everything is completed here then finally here we are getting what there come on what we are getting there finish button here now all right sir now pluggable database multi board 1521 port number it's okay fine by default it has taken 1521 click on finish button all right sir now in the document here what i am telling to you then click on the what button here no finish button click on the finish button okay this one we completed if i click on this finish button fine installation process is completed after completion of this oracle installation process there i want to check this oracle is installed successfully or not all right so now to check uh, to check uh, oracle database to check uh, whether the oracle database oracle database is installed or not what we have to do there to check whether the oracle database is installed or not open command prompt and uh, provide sql plus uh, in the command prompt all right sir now what we are able to see there just open command prompt now new command prompt we have to open don't use that existed command prompt now new command prompt here we have to open there we have to type for there sql plus uh, when we provide this sql plus what it is asking there enter username it is asking about like what there enter username right sir now what is that username here we have to provide the system all right immediately <clears throat> slash uh, password here we can enter what is the password i have given there no durga durga is a password i provided system slash uh, durga now click on enter button now database is available what is the version here no oracle database 21 say express edition all right sir 21.3 21 is a major version 3 is what there minor version now my database is available clearly database is installed in my system got it or not right sir then if we provide this information what is it now sql plus then automatically we are able to get this message here in the document even i am giving this information also now try to understand it sql plus if we type there sql plus if we provide here then automatically we are able to get like what there 
all these details now so by that we can understand it it is connected to what there 21.3 all right express edition that we are getting it it's okay fine i think all of you might be aware about some queries there already you are aware about that queries just i want to show some queries information to you even if you are not aware it is the final information there you should not get in doubt about this this total content here let's understand what about the queries here first of all i want to create a table in the database i want to create a table how i'm going to create table now create a table then table name here we have to provide what is the table name here i'm providing there emp1 for example as a standard table i want to use in my jdbs applications max cases now all right eno number of five i want to make it is what there primary key comma then what next one here e name then e name now i want to use what there where care too often comma e cell float of five all these are five ten five are what their sizes column sizes here i'm providing right then after that e a d d r then what next one here <coughs> E A D D R. There we are able to provide like what there. Where care two of ten num. Right, we completed. Just provide what there semicolon. If we provide semicolon, now we are getting what there table created. Please remember this. Whenever we create a table in our database, no, it is mandatory to perform what there commit operation. Not only in the case of Oracle, not only in the case of MySQL. In general, in every database, if we do any changes in our database. Changes not for selecting, selecting the sense fetching the data, not for that. Changes in the database, insertions may be, creating table may be, updations may be anything. Mandatory to perform what their commit operation. Okay, sir, good. Table is created. Next one is I want to insert records into the database table. To insert records into the database table, what we have to do there? Insert into EMP1 values of 111 comma AAA comma then 5000 comma. And hide a bit some data here we provided click on enter button there we are getting what there one row now second row data here i want to provide now it will be like what the two to two next one is what their bbb then after that six thousand all right so next one is the third record here i want to provide after providing this third record three 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 next one is like what there and the ccc then after that seven thousand here we are going to provide then one more record here i want to provide there then what about this one four 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 some data whatever it may be all right the data may be anything here just four records here i'm trying to install i'm trying to create in my database now four records after that again what we have to perform the commit operation here we have to perform commit is completed after completion of this commit operation then what next one here i want to select all the data i want to fetch all the data select a star from emp1 if you write it automatically all the records of data here we are getting into the command prompt here what data know all four records of data here we are getting next one is i want to perform updations over the database table there we have to perform what there updates emp1 then set a e cell is equal to e cell plus 500 where e cell less than 10000 so i want to give some increment for the employees those are having their salary less than 10000 so now here this is an increment here we provided click on enter button how many rows are updated here now four rows are updated again what we have to perform there commit operation here now here again here i want to check it select a star from emp1 <clears throat> all right sir now here we are getting all four records their updations claim next one is i want to delete the records from the database table delete from emp1 delete from what there emp1 click on enter button four records are deleted then what we have to perform there commit operation right next one is what there select a star from then what next one no emp1 right so no rows are selected no rows are selected in the sense what there records are deleted clearly next one is i want to drop the table from database table drop a table drop a table emp1 click on it right so now table dropped again here i need to perform what there commit operation then after that description emp1 if you check this description emp1 object emp1 does not exist object emp1 does not exist these are the basic operations what i require to start our jdbc programming this basic sql query awareness is required that we have to follow now let me copy this one also entire thing in our content here some example queries here we are providing
right sir that's fine overall my oracle database and it's a um, sql queries little bit i shown clearly that we can identify now it's okay fine it is completed all right sir next one is after completion of this one here <clears throat> my sql installation process but next one here i want to show there my sql installation process i think so this is your you required your required thing is this one already some of you are having my sql no it's okay no problem but again i'm trying to show this now already we specified the location here now here we have to click on what their community edition <clears throat> this download here we have to click there got it or not all right sir now here i want to provide this information there click on this download button all right now it is providing there now observe carefully either you want to download directly or you want to download it from what their oracle website from an oracle web account or maybe from my oracle web account like this it is asking there no sign up and login already if you have oracle account there we can go through that otherwise not required there we are getting a message what message here we are getting there no thanks just start my download understand it clearly all right sir just one minute i'll come back to this one yeah now gear copy this and uh, I, i want to show this installation process also first one is what there download mysql from the following link the link we provided here second one is what there select uh, what version here we have to select there observe carefully uh, just here now here i need to provide this one <coughs> select uh, this one next one is what there click on download button here if we select this one there we have to click on like what there download button and uh, download button all right sir now here if i click on this download button here just here we have to say what there no thanks just start my download that we have to click there automatically downloading is starting downloading is starting here just wait for it then uh, click on the link uh, right sir it's okay why i'm giving given this one also you should not be struck there okay but some people are coming to me sir up to this page okay fine but i have not seen anything else about it if you scroll down there we are able to see that no thanks no but my responsibility i'm doing no remember what is it was <clears throat> right sir. now it is starting downloading almost all completed yeah right uh, go to the location here where it was uh, provided there mysql installer community edition this is directly setup file here we are getting right click on it brother what happened right sir now i want to copy this i'll go to e drive as usual then softwares databases mysql <clears throat> i think so already that version is available with me let me check it i want to paste it now not available 8.0.35 version is available all right but before going to start installation of mysql database i have to uninstall all the versions here all the might be mysql database from my system here otherwise it is not possible got it or not okay uh no yaar i don't want to uninstall immediately now why <laughs> because evening i have a class there there i am working on that mysql database so if i uninstall it and i am unable to complete that installation now but at evening again it will be the problem here right tomorrow i will uninstall and in the same class i will install it now tomorrow in the sense <coughs> monday right monday holiday will you sit 15 minutes of time here 15 minutes of time okay i'll i'll complete it this process also I okay, just say it don't worry 15 minutes of time so what i will show no up to the max process i will show there after completion of this it will take some time here after completion of the time only finish button that we can check it okay right I, i'll show that one also just wait here wait here 15 minutes of time let me complete it already 10 minutes of time my time is available 
not worry for it <clears throat> all right sir uninstall program all right as usual now here so many products are installed here i want to uninstall them uninstall all right sir mysql connector j that i am going to uninstall so whatever the mysql component is available in the control panel that we have to uninstall again we are going to start with what their installation can know right sir just wait job 15 minutes out of i'll finish it then why you what is the requirement to wait up to the time now <clears throat> why because my other batches in other batches i'm doing projects on the base of my school database so if it is the case no it, it will be difficult for us why because that application is in middle actually there are crud operations i'm implementing that just wait a minute out and i'll finish it and again here also i'm telling to you if you have already mysql database in our system don't uninstall it try to use the same thing i will provide the required configurations if we need any other configurations and um, then if you want to check this process in the video if you want to do that anyway now itself i will complete it if you want to check this process in the video in the sense we can email you no problem if you want to leave from class we can leave it but i will complete it and i'll finish the session okay if you want to wait up to the time we can wait otherwise you may leave for it no problem depends on your requirement <clears throat>
So right, sir. Now I uninstalled that my MySQL database in my system gear. Everything is totally I uninstalled gear. Now I want to start the installation process. Now it's okay. Then after that, downloading was completed gear. Uh, then what we have to do there? All right, sir. Click on the link. No thing. Just start my download and find. Uh, the downloaded link uh, uh, that means that what file is downloaded here that I want to give for you um, right sir MSI next one is what there double click on double click on the MSI file that set of file what we download it all right, so now I'm going to double click on it. If we double click on this automatically that installation process. First of all, installer will be started. Installer is a separate software. It will install MySQL database. Now this is what their installer MySQL installer is going to be started. Once MySQL installer is started, then it will install MySQL database. Still MySQL installer only. Yeah, now we are getting what their MySQL installation process. All right, now here. What we required here now server only client full custom now server only sufficient no need to have the total mysql database right now click on next button directly here what we have to provide there click on the next button All right sir now click on the next button and then after clicking on the next button what we are able to get there <clears throat> now it is asking about the locations where we want to install this one the selected path already existed what locations are available sir as i installed uninstalled already already the content here now let me check this one i want to go with this locations here uh, say for example in a c drive mysql i think program files x86 is available where mysql i want to remove this okay action could not be taken place or else maybe inside this this i want to remove it's okay no problem okay no problem here yeah even though the paths are existed here it may not give any impact for us click on again next button here now click on the next buttons next one is after clicking on the next button <clears throat> still have warning with the selected bus are you sure you want to okay no problem yes All right sir now mysql server like this here we have to click on what button here execute Click on execute button. Click on the execute button. If we click on execute button, it's going to be installed. <clears throat> right, sir. Now click on next button. Click on the next button. All right, sir. Again, click on next button. Yeah, unhandled exceptions or application. If we click continue, ignore this error and attempt to continue. If we click on quit, that application. No, no, no. Continue. No problem. No, yeah, something is going on wrong. Now it was not installed properly. Command line client here we are getting 8.0. Let me check it. No, it was uninstalled properly. I will I will take care about it. Don't worry for it. I will do this one. <clears throat> but in the next class, definitely I will show this. I tried for it, but not installed. Okay, I will check it maybe in the when we are when we are going to have national class here <clears throat> maybe on monday not possible monday is a holiday officially on tuesday i'm going to take your class national class 
tomorrow core java classes i am taking there up to 1 o'clock continuously but next class will be on tuesday and tuesday you can come there i'll show mysql database installation thank you thanks a lot I am not responsible for money related and all these things. Then classroom loads, huh? yeah, without paying the payment, also you can get it. Huh? See, one thing I am telling just one minute, one minute, wait. The payment and getting that uh, content is not at all related. Yeah, Google Classroom code, you will get it, sir. At any way. <clears throat> yeah, well, without showing that result, if you ask me, then I feel very happy. <laughs> I go. This is the link. Already in the first class, very first class, I given this link. You can take it. And the videos and all the things, no? Tomorrow, no class. Sir. And next class will be on uh, Thursday, no? On Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Next class will be on Tuesday. Thank you. Oh, for Java. Oh, uh, what topic you are discussing? I was since tomorrow. Monday learning is completed. Uh -huh. It was completed. I think yesterday, yesterday, today, yesterday it was completed. Yeah. Then uh, videos, classroom videos, you are able to get.